Hi, I'm Brandywine curator Amanda Burden. I want to welcome you to our exhibition, Fragile Earth, The Naturalist Impulse in Contemporary Art, and take a walk with you today through the area that is by the artist Mark Dion. I'm standing in front of a piece called The New England Cabinet of Marine Debris, Lime Art Colony, that Mark created for the 2019 version of this exhibition. He ended up combing the shores of New England around the colony of Old Lyme, but also along the coast of Long Island as well, collecting marine debris. It's a practice he uses quite often, creating cabinets of curiosity, but Marx turned that on its head in this piece, where he takes what we think of as garbage and displays it as a future archeologist might find it, identifying things like tiny liquor bottles, caps from plastic drinks, um, toys, balls. Uh, he points out to us that plastic has this long lifespan that lasts longer than you or I will ever be around. There are two new works in the exhibition that weren't in the previous edition of Fragile Earth. These were made in 2021, and they're screen prints by Mark that echo the aesthetics of the kinds of charts that you might find in a classroom or in a doctor's office. One of them is called Marine World, and it shows you the kinds of things you might expect to find under the water, like the silhouettes of different kinds of fish, but it shows you also the silhouettes of things you shouldn't be finding in the water, like perhaps Coca-Cola bottles or missiles and torpedoes. The other chart is called Chart 35, Anatomy of Global Warming. And while it looks like a stereotypical anatomical chart that will point out all of the names of the bones of your body, what Mark is actually mapping are the various processes of climate change. So these include things like ocean acidification, deforestation and wildfires, desertification of the land, and massive increasing monsoons. So he sort of tricks us into thinking we know what we're about to read and then points at the fact that all of these problems come from the human or the skeleton that's present in the image. 